Hello everyone, welcome to my video on beak modification in birds. Birds are class of vertebrates, more than 18,000 different species. From the various features that are common to all the birds, the most characteristic is their beak. All of the uh, all have one beak, but remember it has evolved differently in each species to improve its function in response to its environment. This function include feeding the young ones themselves, uh, defending uh, themselves, uh, mating the courtship behavior, uh, regulating their body temperature and building the nest. So these adaptations are very diverse according to their feeding pattern. So depending upon the feeding patterns, uh, different types of beaks uh, which are ranging from uh, short to the slightly sh uh, sh short uh, beak to sharp beak. So according to the feeding habitat, uh, types of, there are different types of beaks that is seed eating, cutting and biting type, fruit eating type, piercing and tearing type, insectivorous type, fish catching type, wood chiseling type, mud probing type, mud and water straining type, flower prob uh, uh, probing type, pouched beak and spatulate beak. So these are different kind of beak. If you pay attention on the types of beak, uh, the names are given according to their feeding habitat. Okay, so let's see further in uh, this type of beak is in detail. So before studying, the question arises, why birds have different types of beaks? So the answer is, depending on their feeding habits, each species have evolved a beak design that suits its diet and lifestyle to perform different kind of functions like obtaining food, building nest, uh, mating and protection etc. So depending on these different feeding types, let us see the first type. Uh, that is the seed eating type. So before I have told you according to the uh, feeding type. So this seed eating type of uh, beak is uh, for different kind of birds that is which are having a habit of eating seeds. So these are called as granivorous birds. So this granivorous birds which uh, feeds on grains and different kind of seeds are having st uh, strong, short and hard type of beak. So birds like sparrows here, pigeons and eastern yellow uh, robin's beak, if you observe neatly, then this as they are uh, having the habit of eating small grains, okay, so they will have a short beak with conic uh, which are conical in shape, okay. So the seed eating type of beak is strong, short and hard beak to cut the grain, to slice the grain into small pieces. Next is the cutting and biting type of beak. So the example is crow. If you see the feeding habit of uh, crow, it is of mixed type. It is carnivorous as well as eating, uh, it is eating uh, the available food material. Not only. So we can say it is a mixed type of uh, feeding habit. So it is having cutting and biting type of uh, beak. So these crows has long and slender beak with sh sh uh, sharp horny edges used for various purposes. Maybe as we have uh, discussed it previously, maybe the building the nest, uh, protection purpose, feeding the young ones, etc. The next one is the fruit eating type of beak. The fruit eating type of uh, uh, beak belongs to the frugivorous birds. The frugivorous birds are the birds which have the uh, which eat the fruits. So this type, uh, this kind of uh, beak is uh, uh, sharp, powerful, and hook type. If you observe here, the upper beak, the upper part of beak is having hook shaped, and the lower jaw is also having the uh, it is very sharp for cutting the fruit shells or the fruits into two pieces for tearing the fruits and gnawing and for extracting the edible material from the fruits. Okay, for example, uh, so this type of beak is present in parrot and cockatoos. 
next one is the piercing and tearing type of beak so this type of uh, beak uh, is uh, uh, taking place in uh, carnivorous type of uh, birds which are eating or which are preying on uh, different uh, type of uh, flesh of other birds and animals they pull out the flesh and uh, eat it for tearing this flesh they need a very sharp kind of uh, beak so for example eagles the scavengers called as vultures hawks they eat the flesh of other birds and animals so their beaks are strong sharp and hooked so for tearing the flesh a special kind of uh, hook is present at the tip of the beak so they are called the birds of prey so next one is the insectivorous type of beak so this type of beak is observed in the birds which are eating or feeding on the insects if you'll observe uh, these birds the, these are having long slender kind of beak for collecting the insects so it is the long slender and slightly curved at the tip for catching the very tiny small insects and this kind of beak is also present in a woodpecker because uh, yeah this is and this image is of hoopoe which is also the same kind of uh, wood pecking uh, woodpecker okay for in insectivorous type of beak is seen in swift swallows and hoopoe so this is the image of hoopoe having insect in the long slender beak so now next is the wood chiseling type of beak so the example is woodpecker's beak and hoopoe's beak if you see in this kind of uh, beak which is specially found in woodpecker and hoopoe why because they are found always pecking the uh, any kind of tree or the wood they make pokes or they poke the holes in the hard tree trunks to pull out the insects and eat them so for that purpose they need a very strong beak so they are, which is having chisel shaped beaks just as we have a chisel in a the instrument they are having the sharp ridges in the same way uh, the woodpecker is having this wood chiseling type of beak so the example is woodpecker and the hoopoe next is the fish catching type of beak this fish catching type of beak is found in piscivorous birds piscivorous birds are the birds which uh, which feed on fishes so these fishes uh, these birds are having a special kind of beak which is long enough to hold the uh, fishes there is long narrow and very sharp if you see here in cormorant so the image at the right side is the cormorant which is found at the river side uh, or other water bodies so the cormorant is having a fish in its beak so if you uh, observe the beak is having a hook shaped which is at the tip for which is also very sharp for catching the uh, fish very fastly as we know that fishes are so uh, means having a gel movement they are very jerky so it is very difficult to catch so at the first moment this uh, this bird catches the fish very tightly they hold it very tightly with the help of that sharp hooks and this um, type of beaks are having some serrated ridges for holding that uh, fishes so that they cannot escape easily from their beak so within a one shot this uh, birds are can easily have their prey so in the kingfisher the beak is also long powerful and sharply pointed to capture the fish frogs and mollusks and if you see that any time these are uh, these fishes are having um, very sharp uh, vision so they sit uh, on the upper bark of tree they have a watch on the water water bodies and immediately they take a uh, big dive in the water and catch the prey so next one is the mud and water straining type of beak so this type of beak is uh, found in ducks goose and crane if you see here the nares can be observed uh, clearly over here so each uh, different kind of beaks are having presence of nares so what are nares nares are 
the two holes present on the beak which is used for the respiration purpose so the ducks goose and few cranes eat fish so these are also piscivorous and insects from the muddy water so these uh, these are the birds which are always found dwelling in the water bodies for uh, most of their time so for getting their food they what they do they put their beak uh, put their uh, broad and flat beak inside the uh, muddy water and then from the muddy water they strain the water out and just filter the all the water with the invertebrates or the molluscs present in that muddy uh, water just with the principle of straining they filter whatever they want and the mud the muddy water is left outside because they are having some kind of filters in their uh, beaks so the muddy water flows out through this hose next is the mud probing type so there always there is a confusion between mud and uh, straining type of beak and mud probing type of beak so don't be confused mud and uh, in this birds what is the difference they are mud and straining they have a strainers in their um, beaks but this mud probing type of beaks are having these are uh, these beaks are long slender and slightly curved while the mud straining type of beaks are uh, flat and broad okay so though they they have straining uh, strainers in their beak while this probing type of don't have so these are also the water dwellers they dwell always in, uh, the around the water bodies in search of their food they feed on uh, aquatic worms and larvae so in, in that uh, search of small worms and larvae they have a long beak and pointed at the tip so the mud probing type of um, beaks are found in stilt sand piper and jacana which are found always around the bodies water bodies next one is the flower probing type what is a flower probing type this type of uh, beak is found in nectarivorous kind of birds nectarivorous birds nectarivorous birds means which feeds on flower nectars so these are the special kind of birds that uh, inject their beaks inside the pollen tube of the flower and extract the nectars from there so example of this kind of uh, this type of beaks is hummingbirds sunbirds that eat the nectar from the flowers so they have a so to get that to suck the nectar from the flower what is needed uh, as the pollen tubes are long or maybe short according to that the the size varies in different kind of bird so if you see these birds have here the hummingbirds beak here you can see the flower is big the pollen tube is big and so this hummingbird is having uh, the size of that pollen tube uh, big so they need to pierce their beak into flowers to suck the nectar if you see in the sunbird the sunbird also very the, the, these are the smallest bird so they feed on the smallest flowers which are inaccessible to other bird so it is for easy for them to suck their nectar as uh, suck their nec uh, nectar hand feed upon them so these are the flower probing type of birds that is the sunbird's beak hummingbird's beak and the hum hummingbird's beak next is next kind of beak is the pouched beak this is also a very special kind of uh, beak which is found specially in the pelican which is also found in the water bodies and on the seashore uh, and different kind of water bodies here if you see that the, why this is called as pouched beak because this contains a pouch attached to the mandibles at the lower jaw so if you if you can identify this bird this is a pelican so this pouch beak is all, only found in pelicans found on uh, in the seas so they have a large gular pouch that uh, remember that pouch is called as gular pouch as an extension of beak attached to the mandible so why this pouch is present because as we know that piscivorous fishes okay so to catch the we to uh, catch the jerky movement of the fishes uh, they should not uh, as they should not escape when they are catch so that uh, when that bird catches that prey it is immediately put uh, put it in the pouch so that it is not easily escaped from that 
pouch. So this kind of beak is, uh, is present in the pelicans. The next uh, special kind of beak is present in the spatulate, is the spatulate beak. Spatulate means it's like a spoon. So as this beak has spoon like shaped, a spatulate, the, as we say the spatula, is same uh, having the structure of spatula, so it is called a spatulate beak. It is very much specialized in nature. It is having spoon like expansion used for dabbling in mud and water in search of tadpoles, insects and other aquatic animals. So these are also the birds. This is called a spoon bill. According to the type of uh, beak it is having, it is called a spoon bill, having spatulate beak, which are which is present in the water bodies. So this was all about the beak modification in birds which help by studying this kind of different kind of beaks. It uh, help us to find out uh, what are the various kind of uh, birds depending upon the type of beaks and what are their feeding habits. So hope you have liked my video. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you all.